Hey guys, this is Richard from Reefs.com, and we're in the show floor of a Reefapalooza California 2024. And I'm actually in the booth of Pilot Lab with my good friend Phil. Phil, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. What about you? Good, good. Great. Thank you so much for having me at the show. How are you enjoying the show so far? I'm doing, I'm doing well. I think the show in California this year is absolutely amazing. Yeah. It's refreshing. We've been, we've been uh, passing by some California show for the past years. Right. But it's always great to be in this. Uh, it's Cali, it's Cali mood and vibe. No right. suits. Right. California vibe. Love it. You know, honestly, I think I, I have known Phil for like well over 10 years now. And this is like the first time that I have seen him without a suit. Without a suit, then. <laughs> yeah, it's a, definitely a California vibe over here. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and reason why I'm actually over here, because last time in Orlando, we did a video about your Genesis rock, right? Yeah. And I actually got a couple of uh, personal questions that was asked to me but I couldn't give them a direct answer. So I was hoping that maybe you could help me out with this. Of course I can. All right. Yeah. So your Genesis rock, right? And we were talking about the poor density of this rock. And then you were mentioning in the earlier video, four of these rocks will equal to uh, surface area of a tennis court, right? Yeah. 4,032 square meters. That's right. Yeah. Now, how do you guys do that calculation? They use, we're, they use a machine that's called a, a Notoport 5 that actually in a lab situation, a lab condition, will bring the material itself into the machine and that it's going to be uh, infusing it with uh, mercury or a, a, uh, heavy metals under pressure to make sure that it's totally saturated. And once that's done, it's going to be put into uh, the, uh, another part of the machine to evaporate this heavy metal or this mercury. Right. The particulate that's going to be evaporated is going to help calculate the porosity of the material itself. Of course, the machine works very works in that way, and uh, that gives us the ability to calculate how much porosity between 3 uh, UM up to 100 and uh, 1,100 UM size of the pores into that material, which gives us the number, the precise number, for the surface area of our rock or any type of solids or material that, has, that is porous. Wow, that's there awesome. Is. You know, the thing is that a lot of times we just hear about it, but we never really hear the, like a real definite scientific explanation behind these products. So it's actually very refreshing to hear these kind of explanations from you, Phil. Yeah, it's, uh, we learn things every day, right? Absolutely right, absolutely right. And we're actually moving forward because of all the science behind these type of products. Absolutely, absolutely. And while we're here talking about Genesis Rock, I noticed this cradle here. Yeah. So yeah. what is this? Well, this is the crate. We, we had uh, one of these crates actually yeah. showing last time in New York as a prototype. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, we can, uh, there's a rock pack uh, in front of it in the white form. Right. So we decided to go with the black format of this new rack, which mm -hmm. is going to give the opportunity for the customers to actually stack his rack uh, or his rock in the rack right. in four different positions if he buys the big rock packs. The great things about uh, the new rack is that you can use it as an aerobic kind of system for nitrate and phosphate and whatever. And also with those trap here, reduce flow yeah. and use it as an anaerobic uh, reaction chamber right. for another purpose. Right, so that air and the air and the water could mix Ab and create that kind of bacteria. Got absolutely, it, got Absolutely, absolutely. And for people with bigger tanks, yeah. and that used to be in, in the position where you're gonna have those rack here and you can over stack them and stack them over each another yeah to create a, a ceramic rock tower oh there it is gotcha that makes sense that you makes see? sense right right you're putting it on top of each other and that way you can really stack them up and use it on very large tank right in a very organized way so yeah. you want to clean up the biofilm later on right you remove them you remove the top each rock clean them up, put them back, recede it if needed to. Right. But at the end of the day, when you have already an established tank, all the bacteria is already there. Goal here is really to protect the bacteria and the biofilm so the nitrate and the phosphate gets out of the system. And you know, also, I think that this could be also a good place where pots could escape as like a pot hotel kind Absolutely. of. Absolutely. You know, but like we can't claim it because we didn't, we didn't really play in that situation or use this situation. Right. But it we, could be another we could, we byproduct could, of a exactly. situation, you know? We right. could speculate. Right. One thing I want to make sure to, to mention before all of this is going, uh, we're working with Zooks, of course, for the craft mm -hmm. of the material, which, they, which help us 
making those those uh, those racks. Yeah. And this is very important for us because Polyp Lab, uh, we want to be in an in innovation, and we're happy to work with Zooks as a, a company right. uh, to create more innovation for this industry gotcha. and go forward. And is this out in the market right now? It's going to be out in the market very, very soon. We're expecting the first delivery of those rock pack, uh, uh, of those rack full with, uh, with rock already in. Okay. In about October, mid-October, or just before Thanksgiving. And then, um, do you know the pricing of this product yet? I'm not, I'm not, I know the price, yes. It's, it's probably going to be a, in around the range of the $70. Uh, $70, $79 all included with the rack. Of course, the rock's going to be able, we're going to be able to buy it by themselves for 69 US, but we're going to see what's going to happen uh, once it's going to come in and uh, we know what kind of cost logistics going to be. All right, right. Well, Phil, thank you so much for spending time with me to explain about your product and your new product that's coming out shortly. I look forward to having them in my aquarium, playing with it and getting used to your new innovation. Always a pleasure, Richard. Thank you so much, Phil. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day, guys.